So in this video, I show you guys the best cinematic sequence settings for your mobile phone. So most people often think that you need some fancy DSLR to be able to film some awesome stuff. But the reality is almost everyone has a phone and all you really need to do is have some decent settings and understanding how cameras work so then you too can also film awesome high quality stuff with nothing with simply the camera in your pocket. So the first thing you want to do when you open up your phone is you have to understand that the front facing camera isn't the best. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S6 and the front camera is only 2 megapixels. But if you flip forward, you want to use the rear camera. For this phone that I'm using, it actually features a 16 megapixel camera and don't really mind the refresh rate that's just on the screen, but in reality it does not flicker like that. So first thing you want to do is when you use your phone, is especially if you're using Android, you want to make sure that you hit the settings menu and there's certain things you want to make sure that your quality is being filmed in. So first one, you want to check the video size. Using a Samsung Galaxy S6, there's things like 4K Quad HD, Full HD 60 frames per second, which is in slow motion, and Full HD. Those are the modes that I go to, I don't even dare to film in HD or VGA. For this, this example, I'm going to show you in 1080p 60 frames per second, but you also need to be aware that you can't film video stabilization in 60 frames per second. So if you want to use that feature, make sure you hit uh, 1920 1080, then you can actually use in body stabilization in the camera. So one of the cool things about filming with an Android phone is that it has manual exposure settings. So what you actually do is you swipe right and this menu will pop up. So what you want to do is you hit pro now it'll turn black depending on the settings. Now these settings are almost very familiar to any DSLR setting. So you can control your focus, your white balance, as well as you have different picture profiles and your shutter speed as well as ISO. So if you apply any of the cinematic sequences that I use for a DSLR, guess what? It also applies for things like this phone. And that's the cool thing of knowing how and proper settings that you need to use when you're filming any sort of video. So right now, I can film, it's a little dark, so you wanna raise the ISO and go up to ISO 800. As well, you can also change the shutter speed. And then, you can also hit manual focus and you can control whether or not you want to have micro, I mean macro focus, as well as you can have infinity focus. In other words, focusing everything that's farthest away from you. So when it comes to filming the most mobile settings, cinematic sequence film settings on Android is you want to have your shutter speed at either one over 50th or one over 60th depending on whether or not you're filming in slow motion, 60 frames per second, or if you're framing in 24 frames per second, then your most ideal would be 1 over 50th. And if you can't go 1 over 50, you can also double that number to have 1 over 10, I mean 1 over 100, or as well as 1 over 125. And then you want to bump your ISO. But if you want to have the most highest quality settings when it comes to using your phone, you can also make sure that the ISO is lowest as it can go, but in this situation, there's not a lot of light in the room that I'm shooting in, so then you can't really see, but in a most optimal ideal situation, you would want your shutter speed to be at 1 over 50th, and do not let your ISO go higher than, let's say, 320. And then after you have your proper shutter speed and ISO settings for whatever that you're filming on your phone, the next is you want to make sure your your white balance. So I would say the Samsung's, you know, my Android white balance has an all right auto white balance system, but once in a while it does mess up sometimes. So you, you can either control the white balance, there's different modes like fluorescent, daylight, cloudy, 
or you can also control the Kelvin itself if you want to get super technical and you can change it in terms of whether or not it's going to be 10,000 Kelvin which is going to be really warm or you can drop down to 23,000 Kelvin which will make things more blue. And once you understand all these settings, you can essentially just go outside and shoot whatever it is that you want. And it takes a lot of practice. The more practice and you get at filming something, the more likely you are to be better at something and constantly get better when it comes to filmmaking by just going out and shooting things. A lot of people always say, I don't have the money to have a camera. But guess what? You have a camera in your pocket and that's your smartphone. Whether it's iPhone or Android, you can still do the exact same things that I'm showing you now. Although if you use an iPhone, it might not be super professional settings like I have on the Android phone, but these same rules still apply. Make sure you have image stabilization on, make sure you have steady movements, make sure you're using the front facing camera and you're ready to go and film and document awesome stuff. And one more last and final tidbit is the cool thing about filming with the Samsung Galaxy S6 and above is that you can film in 4K video. In other words, yes, there is some kind of cropping when you press record, but you're able to punch in when it comes to shooting things in 4K and you'll be able to crop in a lot of things and have high quality for something of this size. Those are my overall in phone camera mobile settings so you can shoot your cinematic films or document whatever on simply by just using your phone. Never let your budget determine whatever it is that you're trying to shoot. Just because you don't have a professional camera, whether that's a DSLR, Micro Four Thirds, full frame sensor, never let that determine whatever it is that you're trying to do. And those are my settings that I used for the sequence that you're seeing right now that I actually filmed on my phone, my Samsung Galaxy S6. And my name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary Collective. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something.